I previously made a video about how to edit videos with Canva. One of the things mentioned was a lack of timeline and transitions. Well, wait no more. Canva have finally added these game changing features to their editor. I'll show you how to use it in this video along with a few other new features they have added. If you find this useful, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, please watch to the end as this would help me with the YouTube algorithm and help me grow the channel. So on the home page, click on video and you'll see a wide range of video sizes to choose from. I'll choose the standard 1920 by 1080 video and then you'll see the Canva video editor. As you can see, we have a brand new timeline at the bottom with the play button on the left hand side. First thing you want to do is add a video. You can upload your own video with the uploads tab or just drag and drop videos onto the page. I'll just add a stock video from Canva's video tab. You may have noticed the timeline just got longer after you added the video. For longer videos, this may mean you have to scroll to get to the end. A nice little trick you can do is click on the zoom icon. When you click on it, it toggles between the preview window or the timeline. I like to toggle it to the timeline and then reduce to zoom so I can see what I'm working with. I've only got one video that's 15 seconds long so this should be fine. You can also change the zoom on the page if you toggle it back to zoom page and now you can make the screen bigger or smaller. I'll just return it back to how it was. I like to see the entire frame on the screen. Next to the zoom bar you have the grid view and the preview button. So if you have multiple pages you can see them all on one page here or you can make it full screen and watch a preview. I'll just exit out of that by pressing exit on my keyboard. Now to adjust the length of the clip that you just added you can hover over the side and once these arrows appear you can just click and drag and reduce the length of the video clip. This big add page button allows you to add more videos. I'll just add another video to this project. Add page and then click and drag it onto here. Once it starts playing, you can see it playing straight away. I like to just click on the page until the pause button appears and then press pause. I can then scrub along the timeline. In Canva, you can add videos to a page and the page becomes the video. Technically, these are different scenes or video clips. I'll just call them clips because that makes sense to me. You can add many video clips to the timeline one after the other to create your video. So you can keep pressing plus and this would add more videos along the timeline. Now, as I mentioned, if you reduce the zoom, you can see all of these. What I'll do is I'll just click on the three dots here, then delete that one and delete that one. With that clarified, the next game changing feature Canva added is transitions. Transitions connect one clip to another. To add a transition, you need to hover over the plus sign between the clips and then you can either add a page or add a transition. The one on the bottom allows you to add a transition and this allows you to add a page. I'll just select add transition and you can see all the transitions appear here. They are quite limited. You only get what four of them so far. I'm sure Canva are working on more. By default, it's set to none. If you hover over one of the transitions, you can see what it looks like straight away in the preview window. You have slide, circle wipe, and line wipe. If you click on one of the transitions, for example, if I select dissolve, you'll get new options at the bottom where you can adjust the settings for that transition. So you can change the duration, or if I click on slide, you can change the duration and the direction. Same with circle wipe and same with line wipe. I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna press the play head here and then click play to preview what that looks like. Okay, there you go, it gets dissolved into the next scene. Now, different transitions can be used to convey different meaning to the viewer. A dissolve can show a passing of time. A fade to black could signify an end of a scene or a passage of time has passed. Wipes and slides could be used to show a change of location or a change of scene. 
There isn't a transition to fade to black, but you can easily create it by adding a page, changing the color to black, and then adding a dissolve transition. This is useful for outros or if you want to close off one scene and then start a new one. So automatically maxes out at that time. I'll keep it like that and then I'll preview what that looks like. See, now you have a fade to black. You can do that also at the end of a at the end of the video. So if I create a, a plain black page, make it adjust the size however you want, add a transition, click dissolve, and you could use this technique to close out your video. Let's have a preview. There you go. And of course, you can add text onto this page. So I'll select this clip, add text, um, select one of these. So now it fades out to your logo or to your outro text or to a call to action. Very useful technique. Another thing you can do on a timeline is split the clip. This is useful if you want to add different text to appear over the same video clip. So if you have one long video, the problem is when you add text, it appears during the whole duration of this video. So if you don't want this to happen, a useful workaround is to split the clip and then add different text to that separated clip. So what I'll do is right click and then it's got split here. I'll split that. I'll click on this one, delete the text. Now when I play it, it doesn't play during the first part of it, but then the text gets introduced here. Now if I want further text after that, I'd right click it, I'd split it, and then I'll change the text here. So you have the same video, but different text gets introduced to the video. So you can have captions playing over it. Now. You may have noticed there is a problem with this method is the clip kind of jumps and skips frames between one clip to another. So what you can do is add a dissolve transition between the clips to make it look a bit smoother. So I'll add a dissolve transition between clips one and two and then a second transition between clips two and three. Now if I push the playhead to the back and press play, we can see what it looks like. As you can see, it's quite a smooth transition. This leads us to the next game changing feature that Canva added, and that's the ability to animate individual elements. This is a useful feature that they recently added that you previously couldn't do. So now when you click on a clip, you can um, select the clip, select animate. You can either change the page animation and then if I select the video, change the text animation. So you can adjust the page animations and the text animations separately. Another useful feature that Canva added is the ability to add multiple audio tracks. Previously, you couldn't do this. So it was impossible to add background music, a voiceover and audio effects to the same video. Now you can. You can just click and drag the audio to the timeline or upload your voiceover and drag that to the timeline. What I'm going to do is use Canva's stock audio here. If it's got the crown, that means it's uh, only available on the pro version. But what I'll do is I'll click and drag that to the timeline and it appears on the bottom. Now, if I wanted to add a second one, I could e easily do that as well. Click and drag that underneath and I've got a second one. That's actually the same one. Or I can add many different ones to this audio. So that's very useful if you wanted different audio tracks playing at the same time. Let me just delete this one. Now, say you had background music, you had a voiceover and you had sound effects. I want to turn down my background music to about 20% of my voiceover. So what I do is I click on it, click this volume button and reduce the audio down to about 20% and now click on this one maybe reduce that to 80% and click on this one and reduce that to 10% you can also adjust the timings by clicking and dragging here 
So if you want it to be introduced at certain parts and then just click and drag along the timeline or if you double click the audio track, you can click and drag along to change the specific selection. The next feature Canva added is the ability to record yourself. If you click on the uploads tab, there's a new button here where you can record yourself. You'll need to turn your camera and microphone on for this to work. And then once that's set up, you can literally just start recording. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll show you the last Canva video feature that they recently added, which is simultaneous collaboration. If you click the share button in the top menu, you can see a list of people or teams you can share this video with. You can let them edit it or just view it. So you can share a link to edit, share a link to use as a template or share a link to watch. Alternatively, you could click copy link and then email that to people as well. So there you go, five game changing new features that Canva added to their video editor. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also sign up to my newsletter at www.learnwithseb.com for more useful info straight to your inbox. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.